Our Specialty by Julian Manthorn. Alex Savion sat glumly at his table, looking distastefully at the tacky decor that lingered on the walls of the miserable little restaurant. The appetizers had been underwhelming, and the wine was fruity and cheap. Ordinarily, a shabby place like this would never even make his prestigious list. But after a week of hearing his friends rave about their exotic new dish, he couldn't stay away. He folded and refolded the napkin on his lap as he saw the waiter approaching his table with a domed silver platter. The waiter set the plate down and lifted the lid, releasing a cloud of steam. The plate featured one square of pink meat in a puddle of milky gravy. Three pieces of cauliflower and a few small round potatoes cowered together near the edge of the plate. The meat looked soft, like tofu or mussel. Alec took a few quick notes on the presentation and smells and sunk his fork in for an apprehensive first taste. When the tender flesh hit his taste buds, he wondered how he could have lived his whole life without tasting something so delicious. This was the flavor that he had been missing. Nutty and rich, but tangy and moist. He had decided that the meat was undoubtedly fish, but how had the chef cooked it so tenderly? Alec dug in, unable and unwilling to control himself. He understood why his colleagues couldn't stop talking about this place, and why despite the awful decorations and bad wine, there were half a dozen stockbrokers sitting at the table next to him. Alec paid his tab and thanked the waiter heartily, assuring him that he would return soon with his wife. As he took his coat off the hook, Alec caught a glimpse of the kitchen through the round porthole window. Inside, he could see one of the chefs staring intently into the dining room while sharpening a butcher's knife. Plymouth Daily Star, September 28, 2031. Alex Savignon. Critics are ravenous for La Paula's fish dish. Chef Caligore has done it again, presenting his newest dish this week, a filet of exotic ciote fish garnished with parsley and white wine sauce with button mushrooms and Yukon potatoes. This meat is tender and tangy with a nutty umami flavor that will leave you with a permanent craving. Caligore won't reveal his secrets for this recipe, only that is completely exclusive to La Pala. A great presentation and flavor combination makes this restaurant an instant favorite. Four and a half stars. In a dimly lit basement, Sherman Caligore sharpened his butcher's knife as he stood over 180 pounds of raw red meat just waiting to be carved. He had been hanging this particular shank from a hook all night in the cold meat locker, letting the blood drain. He turned on his radio and imagined all the beautiful big steaks he would get from the thighs, calves, and buttocks. But rather than start on the simple flesh, he walked over to the head to collect the cream of the crop, the brain. He drove the sharp blade into the front of the skull and cracked it like a coconut, careful not to cut into the brain matter. This one was gray and soft. Caligore carefully wrapped the meat in cling film and packaging paper before putting it in the fridge with the label, Ciote, six portions.